dudes, my name's Matt Scott and I'm back to help you out, but I'm going to do this real quick because this is a big favour, just trying to, you know, look after my peeps and shit. Word, so here we go, we're, uh, we've got some underexposed footage shot at 800 ISO, it's way underexposed, we're going to lift that up using our ISO slider, thank you Red for giving us raw control, let's just quickly fix that up a little bit, and uh, boom, you know, put some blue in the shadows and shit like that, you've already seen this, so anyway, I'm just going to fly through it, maybe i just jump up here and, um, do that sort of shit. Alright, so now I'm just going to render that out and uh, export uh, whatever's in the viewer. So, clip in the viewer, blah 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 blah. Send that out as a DNX HD, something 10 bits, something good shit like that. Then we go into Virtual Dub. Virtual Dub is a free program, but um, Neat Video is not. Make sure you buy it, it's totally awesome. Add Neat Video, which is down here, you'll see it. Neat Video, where are we? Where are we? Neat Video, boom. Done. So we've added neat video. It's asking us where is the goddamn video, so we haven't even bought it in yet. Let's quickly just do that. So we got lab code full of noise. That's the one we just rendered out. Filters, uh, add neat video. And uh, yeah, and then we uh, have a look at configure. We just press auto profile, fine tune, noise settings, just crank the shit out of it. We're gonna completely over noise reduce this shot. Okay, apply, render that out. Once again, something 10 bit. Open up your favorite NLE, which is Edius. In this case, though, we're gonna be using Premiere because that's what everyone wanted me to show them how to use. Because no one uses Edius. Why the hell not? It's the best NLE around. Get into it, get onto that shit. So now we're in Premiere. Let's just uh, create an untitled project, press yes. And okay, who really cares? And let's go to our media browser and we'll just quickly find our shots. And here they are. So we got a noise free, and yes, we want to change the settings. And we've got another one here. Now, the difference between Edis and Premiere is it just works a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. First thing we're going to do is create a map. So let's type in here three or the letter three way, and we're going to put that here. And then we go into here and we just scroll down to secondary color correction. Make sure the show mask is turned on. Ask yourself three questions What color is his skin? Definitely not blue. Let's drag that into the center. We're after a good start. Saturation, how saturated is it? It's more down this sort of end here. It's not super saturated. The luminance, it's definitely not super bright, so we can bring that down as well. Next thing we want to do is soften our mats. We just go in here and we type eight. So now that we've done that, we have to swap things around. It's a little bit different to Edia. So our matte layer is going to live on the top layer, but let's just quickly duplicate that because we still need a copy of our noisy footage. And what we'll do is we'll click on it, go to our effects, and just remove that three-way color corrector because we need one of them. If we turn off that top layer, now you can see the noisy footage underneath. Next thing we do is go to effects, and we just type in track, but you guessed it, track matte. Drop that onto this layer here, and we say use video layer number three, and use the luminance of that layer. So now we have the result that we're all looking for. We want to have a super clean background with detailed noise coming through on the skin. That's beautiful. The other beautiful thing is we can go to that second layer and just adjust the opacity to your liking, which will show different amounts of varying noise. Hopefully this helped. I need another coffee. Bye.